Hello, I'm Dr. Morris. I uh, hold several degrees in botanical medicine. Uh, I'm a biochemist. I am also a naturopathic physician. And I've been practicing for the last 40 years helping others to understand what causes their health problems and how they can find remedy or how they can cure them. I run a health clinic and our focus is on the health of the body. And when you understand how simple the body's made and how you create things, then it's easy for you to understand how you reverse them. I'm going to be starting a whole video series on the health of the body, how to understand the body very simplistically, and how you regenerate the body. I first, however, uh, I am very prompted for this video relating to a story on Jane Velez Mitchell's show relating to a nine-year-old boy who had a, a leukemia and who her, his mother uh, failed to give him chemo and he, he had died eventually and then they found her guilty of manslaughter. There was a lot of misinformation given out by Jane which I can't blame her. I see this very often in the news media where the medical profession has uh, passed their lives out and have the news media uh, part of that propaganda. Uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, ridiculous uh, uh, misinformation propaganda uh, instruments out there is that chemotherapy has anything to do with any type of curative medicine. Uh, Jane had mentioned that 85 to 95 percent of the people that take chemo survive and overcome cancer with it. I'm sure those of you who are listening know that to be totally false. That's actually the opposite. 85 to 95 of the percent of the people actually die taking chemo and radiation. These are top of the American Medical Association's top cancer-causing treatments. Chemotherapy is an acid that is between 1 and 2 pH. That's between battery acid and hydrochloric acid in your stomach. The acid that damage cells are about 3 pH. So chemotherapy is 10 to sometimes 50 times hotter than the acid that damaged the cell in the first place. Let's be clear. You must understand in today's world what causes cancer. Medical doctors have drummed up this ridiculous concept of diseases which disempowers the people and empowers them for I don't know what reason other than to collect money because there is no such thing as diseases and medical doctors can't cure a thing. They can't cure high blood pressure, diabetes, these things are easy. Leukemia, easy to cure, particularly in children. Most cancers are easy to cure when you understand what causes it. You're not trying to treat a dreaded disease that flew in from Moose Jaw, Alaska. Cancer is of a cell a cell. And then what damages a cell? Well, there's only two sides to chemistry. One side of chemistry heals you, the other side of chemistry is called corrosive chemistry or acid chemistry. If you want to know what acid is, just belt up some hydrochloric acid out of your stomach or drink a Coke. Coca-Cola is about ten times uh, cooler than hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid will literally eat up the cells in your stomach if you don't neutralize it with bicarbonate. So of all the chemistry on the planet, you can divide it up only in two sides. The rest of the human body is simply nothing but cells and two major fluids. That's right, the human body is only made up of around a hundred trillion cells and two major fluids. The two major fluids obviously takes care of the health of the cells. Just like a little baby, you've got to feed them and you've got to clean them. So if you visit my website, robertmorsnd.com, you will see a story on the great lymphatic system, part of my new book series. It would be very beneficial if you understand your lymphatic system, which is the body's gigantic sewer system, and the two sides of chemistry, and what acids mean to you. All the inflammation, all the pain, all the swelling, all the arthritis, the lupus, the cancers, all of these things are a result of the acid side of chemistry, and your lymphatic system deals with that side of chemistry. Your blood cannot, and you stay alive over four minutes. So understand, there's a lot of misinformation out there. We are killing our children like crazy with chemo. The medical profession is the number one killing uh, modality on the planet. I can't call it a health modality because it has nothing to do with health. 
and we're, the judges are buying into this, everybody's buying into this, ridiculous. Uh, ask Tony Snow, ask Patrick Swayze, we're going to conquer. You can't overcome acids. Acids will chew you up, there's nothing you can do about it unless you neutralize them with the other side of chemistry. Folks, there's a lot of misinformation. Don't buy into it so you lose the loved one. This lady had a right not to give her kid battery acid. And for a judge to force people into taking battery acid or giving it to their kids, that's why America's mad. America's mad because you're taking the freedom away. Leukemia in this child, she didn't have access to our health. Natural health is not alternative. Natural health is traditional. We've been around since God made the planet. Sorry. Allopathic is radical chemistry. Matter of fact, the allopathic community basically in this country started by the Rockefellers, the World Bank people, have had a propaganda, have conspired with the states to run a monopoly to suppress the information and the ability we have to help you heal yourself. And so medical doctors can't cure you, but they can treat your symptom with toxic and many times deadly pharmaceuticals. It's okay to have a deadly pharmaceutical on the market. So what if it kills 30% of the people? There's a big so what. The big so what is no one's looking out after you guys. 